So before we continue with this tutorial, let's go to configure and from there station options and then to the execution tab and confirm let's confirm that the enable uh, tracing and allow tracing into setup and cleanup options are enabled after doing that let's click ok to close the station options dialog box so in this video we will learn how to set a breakpoint in a sequence file so let's load our workspace that we have been working on and let's load our sequence file that we have been using then let's go to file menu and let's select save computer to sequence as and let's rename it to sequence computer 3 sequence So we are in our new uh, sequence file. Let's go to execute and from there select break on first step. This suspends the execution on the first step test and executes. A check mark appears to the left of the menu option to indicate that we enable this option. So let's go to the cleanup group. Let's expand it. The steps in the cleanup step group execute regardless of whether the sequence completes successfully or whether a runtime error occurs in the sequence. If a step in the setup or main step group causes a runtime error to occur or if the operator terminates the execution the flow of execution stops and jumps to the cleanup step group steps in the cleanup group always run even when some of the steps in the setup group do not run when a step in the cleanup group causes a runtime error execution continues to the next step in the cleanup group so let's go to the insertion palette and let's add a message pop-up step and let's rename it and call it cleanup message so on the step settings pane and on the text and buttons tab let's enter I am now in the cleanup step group. Including the quotation marks in this message expression uh, control. We must enclose literal strings in double quotation marks in any test stand expression field uh, for this example we will keep the options tab values and the layout tab values to their default 
let's let's save the changes and we are done for this tutorial